All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Abyss. I'm at Zagala, uh, taking a break from recording Conan Exiles and Seven Days to Die for you. And I had two packages on the front porch, one from Hell's Headbangers and a Thrash Collector's box set from Napalm Records. So if you want to stick around and check this out, um, if not, uh, the Hell's Headbangers unboxing will be later on tonight. But yeah, so if you want to check out some Thrash Metal goodies, stick around. We'll see what we got. All right, so before we crack this thing all the way open, uh, I do want to apologize. I used my phone on the last couple videos. I thought it had much better video quality than this crappy webcam, but the audio on that phone just drives me crazy. Makes me feel like I have this really bad lisp and everything, so until my microphone that I ordered arrives, I'm going to have to deal with this crappy video quality. So yes, yeah, so let's dive into this. Like I said, this is from Napalm Records. Um, came across this. I was pretty stoked when I saw it, and it's a little bit bigger than I expected, to be honest. But yeah, this is a box set from, oops, sorry about that, from Warbringer. Uh, just a real, uh, there's a lot of hate on Warbringer out there. I don't get it. Uh, they're a phenomenal modern thrash band, in my opinion. And uh, let's crack this bad boy open and see what's inside. All right, so first off, um, I don't know if you saw my Varden box sets that I did. You know, they came in a nice, nice wooden box. And I do have a few other Napalm Records box sets. But they come in like a digipack material box, not this hardwood like the Varden one and this Warbringer does. But yeah, I mean, it's got a nice glossy gold logo on it. Okay, this looks more orange, but it's kind of a dark blood red. Again, this this camera, but, but really nice wood grain finish. It's like inlaid, glossy gold colored logo and band name. Um, it's really nicely packaged. Uh, it's got some you know foam blocks in it to keep everything nice. And it looks like we've got a nice little treasure chest full of goodies. So let's uh, right right off the top. Uh, there's this, just a cheap dog tag chain. Um, nice. So basically supports this. Nice little black um, matte finish. Oh man, I hate this camera, but like I said, the audio on that other one's driving me nuts. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Um, nice Warbringer logo it's on both sides. Pretty cool. So yeah, right off the back, right off the top, happy with it. And I'll probably replace this cheap chain with a homemade chain mail one. But yeah, uh, really cool dog tag. I've got one from uh, Cavalera Conspiracy and uh, a couple other bands from Napalm Records box sets. They really like the dog tags, and I do too. They're just cool things to put on the wall or maybe toss on. Uh, maybe if you're wearing your battle jacket and you don't have a Warbringer patch, this would be a really cool way to, to represent them as well. So let's uh, continue along and see what else we got. Right, so next in the box, um, we have their 2017 full-length release. This is Woe to the Vanquished, and this is very, very solid stuff. Uh, it's got a cool uh, victory statue pyramid thing there, and all the banners with their band logo on it. It's like they just conquered this place here. They got some cannons down there. And like I said earlier, this is just really, really good, solid, modern thrash. You know, they got some Metallica, early Metallica-esque riffs. I mean, you, you hear bits and pieces from a lot of bands that came before them. Some Slayer influences as well. Just just really good stuff. Um, amazing artwork. And I don't know, I think their logo is pretty badass. Kind of like a horn W thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, another phenomenal, phenomenal record. Um, I recently picked up one of their older albums. Man, I'm having a hell of a time getting this booklet out of here. Um, and loved it. Uh, I'd listened to them here and there, on, here and there on YouTube, and just never really got around to picking up their stuff until recently. Um, pretty good stuff. You got some band photos, and you got some, you know, battle images and all the lyrics. And not too much else in here. Um, this band, band logo and credits there on the back. They're they're giving props to people and. By Victus on the back, very cool. Um, but yeah, so 2017, like I said, a uh, solid record. Um, don't know if it's my favorite. Um, Walking Into Nightmares, I believe it's called, is the one I got before this. It's an older record. I think I like that one a little more, but that doesn't mean this is not an amazing thrash record. So yeah, Warbringer, Woe to the Vanquished. Uh, highly recommend you go checking this out. And if you really like it, maybe go to Napalm Records and pick up this box set. Uh, pretty good deal for the value. And uh, Let's keep rolling and see what else we got in here. 
All right, so rolling along, I'm going to take one of the items out so I can kind of show you how this box is set up. There's a, an exclusive vinyl in here, a 7-inch vinyl. It's got this little block holding it in there. Um, really well packaged, like I said. Um, and then, as well, the, the box itself that this came in, Napalm went all out. I mean, it was tons of um, bubble wrap, things like that, on sheet, uh, slip sheets to keep everything nice and, nice and safe. Um, and from what I read, this is the only, these two, these tracks here, it's uh, two covers, uh, co Evil Dead from Death and then Arc Light from Corner. And, you know, like I said, two covers. And this is the only way you can get these, I believe, is through this box set. Um, I apologize. I hate watching people have to, like, rip things open. But, uh, like I said, this is a true unboxing. I didn't want uh, to, you know, pre-record everything. And, you know, I, I like to do the transitions in between each item just so you're not watching me drop stuff on the floor and listen to the loud crashes and things like that. But, uh, yeah, so this is an exclusive cover, two, two cover album songs. God, wow. Two covers, like I said, uh, death cover and a coroner cover. Very cool. You know, just solid artwork by Victus again, just like on the inside of the book. Very cool. And it's actually a colored vinyl. It's like a gold, gold, gold color. And it looks like, you know, the death cover on one side, the corner on the other. So very cool. Kind of a goldish tan color and there's evil dead by death that's a killer track so i can't wait to spin this later and hear the rendition of that one of my favorite death songs by far so yeah i don't have a whole lot of seven inch ep or seven inch vinyls but you know, i probably got about 10 or so but this is definitely going to be a welcome collection piece uh yeah so like i said exclusive to this napalm record box set i think it's limited to either 300 or 500 and it looks like they still have copies so like i said if you're into Thrash or into Warbringer at all, I highly recommend going and checking out the deal. Um, you know, I don't know, sometimes if it goes on sale or something like that, you might be able to jump on it. But yeah, let's uh, let's continue along and see what uh, the last item in the box is. All right, guys, so we're down to the last item. And then, of course, I ordered something else to kind of go along with it that didn't actually come in here. So I'll actually show that first, actually. I did order just a, a small Warbringer patch. It's kind of like, you know, a lapel size, you know, just the logo there. Pretty sweet. Um, this is going to be going on my vest at some point. Um, I'm actually going to remove a bunch of patches today. I got some that I really want to put on there. Uh, I got a Morbid Macabre patch, Sardonic Witchery, Nargaroth, um, Goat Moon, and this Warbringer that I want to put on. Finally getting rid of that Demubor gear. Finally getting rid of that Mayhem. Uh, that Mayhem patch was a free gift from somebody, so I, you know, I kind of felt obligated to put it on there. I am not a Mayhem fan at all. Um, being a massive black metal fan, I know I get a lot of shit for that, but I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get the hype. I feel like they've kind of went too long, you know, riding, riding the success of one album. But back to the uh, box set here, the last item is a flag, so we'll go ahead and show that. And it is the Warbringer Battle Banner that you saw on the album cover. Uh, very cool. It's probably going to go right behind me, behind this Pro Fanatica one. But yeah, really cool. Big, solid logo, and I think this is the reason I ended up really going for this box set instead of just getting a patch in the CD. Um, was this banner? I, like I said, I love their their war the Warbringer logo, and it's solid music. Um, and like I said, a lot of people hate on them. I don't get it. You know, the whole elitist people calling them posers and shit like that. It's just killer thrash about war and death and violence and you know conquering other societies, shit like that. Just a solid, solid, solid box set from a solid band. So yeah, you got the flag, um, got the uh, the vinyl in here with the exclusive cover tracks. Got this nice little thing to keep it in there from falling out if you want to display it open, which I might do on a shelf somewhere. Just kind of leave it like that with the, the album and stuff on the inside. Uh, the thing I threw in myself, I ordered the patch, the 2017 Woe to the Vanquished album. And also the uh, the cool dog tag. So yeah, all in all, really, really pleased with this box. Like I said, I think the chain's the only thing I'm going to replace. Uh, looking forward to diving into this vinyl, hanging this banner up, and getting that patch done on my jacket. So yeah, like I said, if you're into thrash at all, if you're into Warbringer and you don't already own this album, maybe consider going over to Napalm and checking this out. Uh, really, really glad I finally pulled the trigger on it. I know I've looked at it 15, 20 times, and 
said to hell with it. I had just ordered the patch and said, why not? Let's, let's just make this a Warbringer unboxing. So, uh, really glad you guys stuck around. Uh, later tonight, I will be dropping my Hell's Headbanger vinyl collection update, and we'll see what else comes. we got some gaming videos on the way as well. We'll see you soon. Hails and horns.